So let me show you all. This is the beat. So this is literally like it's teeth. I don't know if y'all fit, but like it's teeth with the teeth. They're really, really good. Uh, but it's like right there behind the high dog here. Um, you have a cat, like catfish. I'm thinking of catfish, not the same thing. Like the high dog, like scallops. So this is just going to braise it, um, just onion, onion, celery, carrot, round it to a deep sea sauce, and then I'll put it in the oven with tomatoes. Why this, I'm not sure why this one be it has cocoa powder, I think it's just kind of thickening. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not sure, doesn't, it doesn't really, it's interesting, it doesn't really, it doesn't really check, so, all this is kind of, uh, see, just round them off. I'll say this vegetable, and then go and help me see if you get these covered in here. About an ounce and a half of it. It's about uh, this long enough to flow into the whole thing. They said, keep going. Uh oh. Y'all know what he's coming with. What kind of corner? The corner of that, like the wave right there, is up on the other side. There's a bit of chain. Yeah. No, it's in the middle of that. Yes. So this, this is the way they, the beef cheeks came. They, you're not, you're not going to place like grill these like a steak because they're real, they're real tough. They got a lot of protective tissue in them. So that's why they kind of just the braised. Right. So that's, so that's its cheek. So yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, the tongues seem to be small. Um, all right, so there's not a lot to do to these. It's just you, you just gotta take this this silver skin off, um, and then the rest of it will just kind of braise as we cook. Why do you want to take that silver skin off? Um, all right, so the, the silver skin, it's like, a, it's, it's kind of like a tendon. So it's like real, like, you can't really eat it. It's, it'd be real chewy. Um, so it's like, I don't know, y'all cook ribs, you know, on the back of the ribs, you got to take that skin off. If not, it'd be real chewy.
they are not the proton of or Like the bottom of this fat, like this fat would just kind of ring it off. Okay. All right, so that's that's really all you got to do with this. You now I'm just going to brown it off. I'll brown it off in two pans, um, and we'll take that out, um, and then we'll put our bacon in there, soften those up, uh, put the uh, grape juice in there, let that reduce, and we'll put everything in, into the into the um, into the half pan, and then put the tomatoes on there, put it up, and it will braise for about an hour and a half, thereabouts. What's the grape juice for? It's it just flavor. Will it taste grapey? Um, or is it more for the sweet? It's more for the sweetness and the rich. Once it reduces it, it kind of adds some body to that stock. So, um, right, we don't turn all those, all those skills up front and turn the on. Turn that part so, like, the camera space on it. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep turning. Keep turning. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. And I'll slide it down. Down this way. Yeah. And then, if you want, you can peek in that pot. Get on the beef tongues in there. You ate one of them. All right, so we're just we're searing these. Do you know why we're searing them? Yes. Yeah, it's for flavor. So it's gonna it's gonna sear that outside and kind of kind of caramelize it, and then we'll deglaze the pan with the veggies and the stock. And, um, and it just adds flavor. Okay. All right. So when you put it in there, just, just put it in there so it forms that crust.
going to the Red Roof and come all back to get that, that poison. All right, so we're just getting good, just a good sphere on each side, and then that would impart into our into our liquid. Okay. So let's let go a second. And it's not real fatty. There's not a lot of fat rendering off the off the space. So. A lot of times you see it like as um, like a ravioli. You don't know what oxtails are? Yeah, so oxtail. I, I was going to get oxtails, but they didn't have them. Oh. And a lot of times they'll, they'll use like cuts like this and cuts like that oxtail to kind of fortify and fortify sauces. I'm just going to split the bit. If you want to taste it, you have the opportunity to taste it. Okay. <laughs> when I say sweat, I'm going to sweat the bed out. What do you think that means? Yeah, you're, you're just literally just making the veggies sweat. What's the point? That's what I've discovered. Maybe the steak is all this flavor. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then either one of these recipes has um, called the garlic. So I think it's like garlic. The longer you cook it, the less flavor it gives. So since yeah, those days are greater, so you just kind of cook all that garlic. You have it. You have it after. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Coffee. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So that's basically something. Sorry. Yeah, you still want like a dry, like a dry response. Yeah. 
So that's going to go in there and for 